Ntsiki Ma's Y Biography Ntsiki Ma's Y is a poet, songwriter and a musician who has been in the music industry for over 15 years. She is popularly known for her outspoken thoughts that are regularly shared on Twitter as well as her podcast, where she hosts her regular talk shows. Ntsiki Ma's Y is oftentimes mixed up in some controversy because she always has an opinion to everything which many people do not accept. She has her ways of telling the truth without holding anything back. Ntsiki drags Sa. Ntsiki is one who's known to speak her mind on any subject and does not care if people agree with her or not. Ntsiki took people in such a task by expressing her views on the xenophobia in the country. Ntsiki went on a rant expressing her disappointment saying South Africans are directing their anger and rage at fellow Africans whereas the real culprits are white people. My South African brothers and sisters, you are confusing me. Why are you fighting other African countries, the Malayans, the Zimbabweans? the Nigerians, when they are getting the jobs that are at the bottom of the food chain. In a twist of events, that no one saw coming, Ntsiki and Pearl Thusi actually agree on the same thing. Ntsiki Ma's Y Age Ntsiki Ma's Y was born on the 3rd of September in 1980. She is 39 years old. Ntsiki Ma's Y Family Ntsiki Mazwai was born in Pimville, Soweto. The musician lost her mother, non cyclilobilid Mazwai at the age of 11. Ntsiki was raised by her father, Dr. Thamson Kamazwai, who was a journalist. Growing up, Ntsiki's parents were both writers and once were the leaders of the Pan-African Congress PAC, raising her alongside her two sisters, her elder sister, Thandizwa Mazwai, is a well-known vocalist and musician and a songwriter for the music group Bongo Muffin. Her younger sister, Namsa Mazwai, was born in 1996. Namsa and Nsiki did not always see eye to eye and sometimes their rivalries even got physical. Although Namsa does admit that Nsiki really took good care of her as her big sister, they never were able to find that common ground where they were able to build a solid relationship. Namsa felt that at most times, Ntsiki was suffocating her over the years, it seems the two have finally got to the stage where they just can't let go of each and that rivalry is over. The pair are always gushing over each other on the gram. Ntsiki will do anything for her sisters and she does not want anyone saying anything negative about either of them. Ntsiki Ma's Y Education Ntsiki started her formal studies in Soweto where she did both her primary and secondary education. She eventually enrolled at IMM where she graduated with a diploma in marketing. During her college studies, Ntsiki was already an underground musician, in 2002. She again enrolled at University of Witwatersrand and studied entrepreneurship and new creation in 2014 at Wits Business School. Ntsiki has shown to be an academic, she went on and enrolled at Rhodes University where she earned her master's in creative writing. Ntsiki Ma's Y Career Ntsiki Ma's Y started her career with a sole focus on beadwork and poetry. She performed between the period of 2002 to 2005 where she mostly showcased her work at a pub. The poet started gaining recognition after she released Urongo which became her leeway into the music industry as a solo artist. Ntsiki balanced her delivery of singing with her magical recital voice. The poet started growing in the industry, but never stopped with singing. Ntsiki continued writing and reciting poetry throughout. She started being recognized after she released her first book, Wena which is a collection of her poetry. The book focused on socio-economical development, and she also addressed the traditional transitioning of society. Ntsiki later produced the Mama Said Sessions which took place in Rude Theatre, Goad. 
while working as a producer, Ntsiki ensured that she used the opportunity to work on her music and the release of her debut album. As a revolutionary, a black consciousness activist and a radical feminist, the album focused on the liberation of those said movements. She performs her art locally and abroad and she has been recognized for mixing poetry and house music, as a pioneer. This is an adopted legacy in South Africa, where artists prefer to recite with soft house music as their background. Ntsiki believes that through her understanding of art and entertainment, it is something which will bring together entertainment and literature. Ntsiki Mazwai Awards and Nominations Ntsiki has received awards on her art and has been appreciated for her beadwork which she started, while she was a little girl. She has received awards for her poetry and her radical feminism, as she has shown to jump to the forefront. 2008, Mamiya, Spoken Word at Sama 2013, Golden Circle Youth Award for Community Service. 2014, Ugdi Award for Using Art for Social Issues. 2014, Most Innovative Student, Wits Business School. 2014, the House of Mabu, Beadwork Range Ntsiki Mazwai Poems Ntsiki Mazwai is regarded as one of the best poetry performances in South Africa. She mixes her poetry with music and believes that through this, she will be bringing literature and entertainment in one place. Ntsiki Mazwai Controversy Ntsiki has shared her opinions in a variety of topics on Twitter. She has been known to say her vivid thoughts about celebrities such as Banan Mathaba, Kasper Nyavest, aka and many more. Ntsiki is well known for debating with people on social media. She is mostly involved in issues that are about South African women, the youth, socio-economic development. She takes jabs and throws them at everyone who dares to differ with her opinion. In 2019, she has interacted with the following users and as usual, Ntsiki made sure she has the last voice.